Hey, welcome to the Prime Marketing Podcast. I'm your host, Cameron Smith, CEO of AGM, and every Monday through Friday, I come out with a quick no BS episode helping you turn your advertising into leads, customers at a profit consistently in your business. By the way, if you have not yet done so, please subscribe to our iTunes, Stitcher, and SoundCloud and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Cameron Smith AGM. That's C-A-M-E-R-Y-N-S-M-I-T-H-A-G-M. Also, I'm currently running a giveaway for free one-on-one consulting with me and you, talking for 30 minutes every Friday for a month to help you grow your business faster with less stress and more freedom in your life. If you go to alphaglobemedia.com slash giveaway and enter your information, you'll, you'll be entered in for a chance to win free one-on-one consulting with me, and I'll send you a free signed copy of my new book, Primal Marketing, right to your doorstep as well. So once again, go to alphaglobemedia.com slash giveaway for that to enter to win. It only takes about 10 seconds, and it's absolutely free as well. So not only that, but you don't even have to wait till the giveaway is over to get personal one-on-one advice from me. That's why I created the Marketing Diagnosis Quiz for you that you can take any time after the podcast to grow your business by improving the areas where your customers are getting stuck most, which often leaves a lot of money on the table for small business owners out there. Even so, it's a short three-question quiz that quickly provides personal and custom solutions for your marketing needs. You can get access to the Marketing Diagnosis Quiz at alphaglobemedia.com slash md quiz and get your business one step closer to becoming a perpetual selling machine all right let's dive into the show hey welcome back to the prime market podcast i'm your host cameron smith ceo of agm and on today's show what we're going to be talking about is exactly how to go about getting more leads in your business by actually taking advantage of something we call power magnet in your business by taking and leveraging the lead magnets that you may already have in your business and really amplifying them to reach possibly 40 to 60 percent to even possibly even 70 percent conversion rates in your landing pages so i'm going to show you exactly how to create an offer even a free offer that generates more leads for your business by taking advantage of something called power magnets on today's episode so as you always know this is the show right here where we help small business owners from the advertising into leads customers and profit so let's hop into today's show and see exactly how to go about implementing this into your business all right, so this is an interesting one right here. A lot of people get confused when it comes to actually creating lead magnets, especially when it comes to like business owners trying to generate more leads for their business. So in terms of actually amplifying your current results and stuff like that, it's gonna boil down to about three things that you're gonna need in your business. And we're gonna hop into those three things in a few minutes. But right now, you need to understand something. If you wanna break out of anything that's you know at status quo within you know the market, such as a uh, 10 to 20 percent conversion rate with your lead magnets and your lead magnet offers it's going to take a lot more than that by actually making things actionable and something they can implement quickly because people are actually looking for a solution to their problem that can be solved very quickly so if you're creating a lead magnet around anything make sure that it has a specific purpose a specific problem that it's solving and you need to lay out the groundwork for your audience very specifically on how to achieve that in the the least amount of time possible so the best way to do that is to follow these three core principles of what the lead magnet is supposed to do. So if you already have a lead magnet in your business, you can tweak some things in it to actually help it achieve its job, you know, even further by actually helping you make potential buyers in your business, of course. So the first one is it needs to educate your customers. So the second one is it needs to inspire them as well. And the third one is it needs to motivate them to take action. So the first one is pretty interesting. I actually got done reading a book by Claude Hopkins and he was talking about the, the purpose of education-based marketing. It's very important because when you're trying to move somebody from a very painful state to an ideal state of where they want to be in their life or where they want to you know, achieve in terms of the solution that you may be providing with your offer, your service and stuff like that, it's going to boil down to how well you communicate you know, the transition from a before state to an after state because that's all marketing is. You're moving somebody from where they don't want to be to where they want to be. So, that's the purpose of education-based marketing. You can do that and you can achieve that in many different ways. One of the best ways I found in terms of uh, ways that we use in our lead magnets is to use statistical you know, references such as you know, using stats and using case studies, all types of things that actually have third-party credibility. And that helps you, you know, generate you know, trust with your audience by actually you know, getting third-party party data from not just people that are like you, but also people out there who have also you know achieved similar results for uh, moving like moving from the before state to the after state in their business so the next thing is inspire inspire is pretty interesting because 
that one right there is gonna call on a lot of business owners to actually get the person to move out of their, their confidence zone because they're, they're comfortable right now where they're at. And if you wanna move somebody from, you know, being a potential buyer to becoming a buyer, it's gonna boil down to them feeling confident in themselves in terms of making a buying decision with you. And the best way to actually go about inspiring somebody to, you know, make a buying decision with you is to, you can do it in two different types of ways. You can either do it yourself and show that, you know, all the results of, you know, what you've achieved yourself in terms of achieving a specific solution that the lead magnet is providing, or you could also demonstrate it is, which is something we talked about in our previous episodes and demonstrate the actual value and exactly how the person can move from their before state to the after state because as long as the person can see exactly how it's, they're able to achieve it it's a lot easier for them to actually grasp the overall concept and believe that they can actually achieve the results not only just believe you but also believe that in themselves that they can actually achieve the results because if they can believe in themselves to do it they really don't need you. they really care less about you than anything else in the entire sales sequence at all they want to believe in themselves but they need a reason to believe in themselves so give them that reason by giving them third-party data by giving them evidence of it being achievable for them and you can do that through education based marketing and inspiring them so third one's pretty interesting third one's motivating them to take action so that one right there is very simple this one right here is going to call on you to actually you know help these people by just actually helping them and what that means is just you know if you're going to show somebody how to move from point a to point b such as you know how to go about you know starting your own cat juggling business then you need to lay out the groundwork in terms of actually what they need to do to actually start building a profitable cat juggling business and that's gonna take you from you know being an unaware prospect to becoming a lot more aware to exactly how to achieve the specific result and when somebody becomes aware of the fact that you know it is achievable they become a lot more likely and a lot more motivated to actually take a specific action so you've already done a lot of the groundwork so far by actually you know educating them in the first place in terms of where they're at why it's so damn painful and why they need to move out of that spot and then you inspire them to actually take action by moving out of that spot third thing you did is you're motivating them so you're saying hey if you enjoyed this or if you got value out of this then i'm sure you would like this so that's where you would suggest a particular product service or offer and they can click on a link and then go to a, a different type of page right there so these are all different types of ways in terms of how to go about moving somebody from becoming you know a lead to becoming a customer and this is very important because a lot of business owners they'll they'll generate a lot of leads but they have no way of monetizing these things and power magnets and lead magnets are a great way of actually achieving that because their overall job is to educate inspire and motivate your customers to take a specific buying action with you so if you want something like this in your business i actually created a lead magnet template that allows you to create these power magnets on demand so i'll show you that in the show notes below but if you got value out of today's episode let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i actually look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's episode Hey, hopefully you got a lot of value out of today's episode. As always, if you have not yet done so, please subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, or SoundCloud, and also like us on Facebook.com slash Cameron Smith AGM. That's C-A-M-E-R-Y-N Smith AGM for more actionable marketing strategies just like this. And also, if you want to check out the full episode in terms of the videos, you can go check us out at alphaglobalmedia.com to find out more exactly about the diagrams and things we talk about on the show to find out more exactly how to implement this stuff in your business. So I'll talk to you in tomorrow's episode.